Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read a fun story and it's called The Goat Who Ate Everything Including a Big Bite of This Book. We're going to take a look at some healthy ways to eat. Shall we? Here we go. The Goat Who Ate Everything. Illustrations by Duck Studios. Written by John Montgomery. I had a brother who was a kid. No joke! He was a goat! See the picture of the kid brother. That's what you call a little goat. A baby goat is called a kid. That's why he's saying he's got a kid brother. He was a billy goat catastrophe, a constant eating disastrophe. Oh my goodness, all the things that that goat ate. The bait, the football, and the lamp. Oh my goodness, the couch. Yikes. Can you, can you spot something else? I just, it was gonna close out and I noticed a couple more. The teddy and the fish tank, the curtains, and the hockey stick and a bowling ball and not a book. Ah, oh, she whiz. He ate mom's hair. He ate dad's ch Excuse me, he ate mom's chair. He ate dad's hair. He ate the couch. He ate the whole house! Whoa. You're not a very good kid. He chomped my baseball glove with goatish delight. Mm -hmm. He ate a street lamp and turned off the lights. He chewed flowers and plants and fire hydrants. We don't really say it like that. We say fire hydrant, but it sounds good for the story. Ireland, Great Britain, Germany, and France. We went on vacation and he ate all of France. Ay, ay, ay. That's another country. Billy, you can't, shouted Sheriff Van Sants. But Billy said, bah, and ate Van Sant's pants. Oh, shame on you, you little Billy goat. Bite, chew, chomp, munch, crunch. The town became Brother Billy Goat's lunch. Oh, all those chompy marks everywhere. Oh. Suddenly, Billy let out a horrible belch. That's a burp. Billy Goat had a stomach ache like no other. He turned green, blue, and every color. Oh, I can imagine eating all that nonsense. Gurgle, gurgle. Billy was in an awful mood. Then Dad said, Billy, start eating better food. Look at poor dad's hair. Oh, Billy go ate that hair. Try lean protein, low fat dairy, vegetables, whole grains, and fruit. Choose the good diet and before too long you can grow, you could grow up to be big and strong. Strong. Yummy, like chicken, milk, carrots, breads, and apples. I'm sure you can come up with some nice fruits for yourself too, right? Now today I'm proud to say Bill, Brother Billy is feeling great. It looks like he's feeling great. Although sometimes we remind him, eat your food and not the 
Uh oh, plate. <laughs> Stay off that plate, you little billy goat. You little kid. The end. So we're gonna take a little look at the veggies and fruits that I have in my house. You tell me if you know what they are. Here we go. Look at all these veggies. Can you even spot what they are? Some are in the, in the baggie. All right, so let's see. I have a little assistant here helping. Okay. Hi. All right, so do you know what this one is? It's round and it's red. It's a tomato. Yes. All right, let's put that one down. The shape is a circle. And the color All right, let's is look in this red. one. Red. Open up the bag. Do you know what this is? This is Salad. lettuce. Oh, it's lettuce. Lettuce. Okay, put that one down. Let's All right, next thing up is did you guess? Celery. 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 Yummy. Woo. I'm trying to get one out. There's celery. Good. All right. Mm. Did you ever fill celery with peanut butter mm. or cream cheese? It's a yummy, crunchy treat. All right. Next up, what do you think is in this bag? <gasps> I see green, I see green. It's a jalapeno. Do you like nachos or tacos or any type of food with a little kick? When you slice this open, cut very, very thin pieces, that's a nice flavor. Great. Mm. Ooh, here's some fruit. You know what fruit this is? This is grapes. Yummy, yummy grapes. Sweet. Sometimes you'll find green grapes too. Sometimes they're little. Mm hmm. Next one is green again. Huh. And it's broccoli. Yummy. Mm hmm. There's little leaves. Yeah, you can cut that off. Okay. Don't let the little stem stuff on the top. That's right. Remember Next one. one. Does it look like a tree? Yeah, it does look like a little tree. Some some grown-ups might say, "Eat your trees for dinner." <laughs> so Here we have. Do you know what that is? Little carrots. Good. Okay. Oh, I see something red. What do you think it is? Is it a tomato? No, it's not. It's a pepper. Now the next one. All right. Now what is this? It looks like lettuce, but it's actually spinach. Yeah. And spinach can be put into soups or salads or cut up and used to garnish, meaning to make a, a dish look pretty, a meal look pretty, mm. and it's still good for you. Ooh, this is a big one. This is a melon, a cantaloupe. Mm. Yeah. Yes. These are, do you know what that is? Yeah, a kiwi. Yep. Cut it up and they look green. That's right. Here we have some purple eggplant. Mm. Yummy. Did you ever have an eggplant parmesan? That's right. And these are little mushrooms. mushrooms. Yummy. And what do we have here? We have, ooh. These are, this is asparagus. Mm -mm. Has mom ever told you you need some asparagus? Asparagus, yummy. Gotta eat your veggies. So don't be like that billy goat and eat things that aren't good for you. Make sure that you try new things. You saw all those veggies. There's so many to choose from and so many different ways to prepare them. You can help be a little chef with your grown-up helper, okay? And think of different ideas 
and foods to eat so that you fill your bellies and your bodies with real good foods and you become big and strong. Okay? All right. I'll catch you learners next time in the uh, Let's Reach for Those Fruits and Veggies, Grapes, Apples, Tomatoes, Zucchini in the Learning Zone. Eat well, my friends. Try new foods. Bye.